Hey, Sooners, welcome back. I'm just about to uh, unbox some toys. I mean, at this point, they're mocking us. Yeah. As Christians, they are mocking us. And if you think that in any way, shape, or form that this kind of thing points back to Jesus, then there's something seriously wrong with your... Hey, I'm Brylan. I'm Lisa. And in today's video, we want to look at something that is just at this point getting ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> it's this right here. Have you heard of the chosen is not good? Well, you have now. This is an ad campaign having to do with... The Chosen. The Chosen show about Jesus. Yeah. You remember the show about Jesus? Yeah. So the Chosen's uh, mascot is Satan. Red flag? Just yesterday, they posted a new video of Satan unboxing an iPhone 13. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> At this point, there it, now it's this is a lifestyle yeah. for The Chosen. This isn't an ad. This isn't a commercial. This is now a lifestyle. Yeah, we understand that it's satire, but it, the way it's done is very distasteful. And we actually have a video, which I'll link uh, in the card, that goes over why this is distasteful and yeah. why this goes beyond satire. Mm -hmm. And we give reasons scripturally throughout the Bible on why this shouldn't be taken lightly. Yeah. And we're not anti-joke. We're not anti-funny. We we have our Netflix. Like we we yeah. we're, we're hip. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a point that you don't cross, and they're crossing it. But real quick, before we get into this video, we're going to take 20 seconds and shout out the sponsor of today's video. The Daily Grace Company. Right now, they are having an anniversary sale, so everything mm -hmm. is 30 to 80% off. <laughs> That's crazy. And you get a free tote bag with your order if you order this a week. A free tote bag. Yes. So they have all different kinds of Bible studies, prayer journals. They actually have a new ESV journaling Bible they just released, mugs, just tons of really cute stuff and great stuff for your Bible study yeah. life. So go ahead and check them out. We have a link in the description. And quickly, I wanna ask you, would you mind hitting that subscribe button under this video? If that button is red, that means you're not subscribed. We would love for you to be a part of this community with us. And also hit that thumbs up button. We would really appreciate it. All right, so let's get into this video. It's a minute long. Yeah. And it is Satan unboxing an iPhone. And I know I feel closer to Jesus when I watch this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Personally, I do. Like, it just makes me want to, like, you know, I, I don't want to get my Bible out or anything and read the Bible. Mm -hmm. I want to watch The Chosen so that I can feel closer to Jesus. Yeah. Because it makes him feel more real to me. Yeah. Watching the show instead of reading my Bible. Hey, sinners. Welcome back. I'm just about to uh, unbox some toys. Because that's, uh, that's what everyone watches for some reason. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's get started. I am, this, this is really dumb. All right. I wonder if the actor is like, this is really dumb, like, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I mean, he was a little bit serious there. <laughs> like, like, why am I doing like this? I'm, I'm making way too much money to not do this, but, but I this can't whole thing is really I dumb. can't believe this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's no. what he's thinking. Yeah, what every influencer needs. One of my favorite tools, the iPhone 13. Uh, my second favorite number. It's got yeah. three eyes, just like my dad. It's, uh... Okay. This, this we, part was weird. Okay. okay. So, yeah, we keep stopping the video. I'm sorry. But <laughs> this has three eyes just like my dad. First of all, there's no theological implications of Satan having a, having dad. a dad. There's nothing in the Bible that points to Satan having a dad. Yeah. Nothing. No. It, anybody, If anybody was going to argue that Satan had a dad, I, I guess they would argue that God would be his dad because God created Satan as well as everything else. Yeah, but he's not his dad, according to but scripture. But God is not Satan's dad. <laughs> yes. Do not take us the wrong way here. I'm saying if somebody was going to make an argument. That's what they might that's think. That's what they might think. Yeah. Okay? That God was Satan's dad. Who else thinks this? Mormons do. Mormons think this. They, they believe that Jesus and Satan are brothers. Yeah. So, okay, <laughs> uh, this has three eyes like my dad. Again, someone pointed out in the comments, we're not saying that this is true. It's no. just an, inter it's an interesting observation. Three eyes like my dad. Are they talking about the Trinity? Yeah. Which is 
God. God. The Mormons believe that Satan and Jesus are brothers. And if you don't know about the cho- chosen Mormon connection, we have a video on that. So and you I'll can check that, that out. <laughs> I'll leave that in the card as well. You can <laughs> click on that and check out our video that goes over. And again, we're not saying that's what that joke meant, but it's just interesting because we don't know what it meant. Yeah. And that was an well, interesting Because the creator, <laughs> the creator of the show believes that Christians and Mormons worship the same Jesus. And that Mormons are fellow brothers, brothers and, and sisters. sisters in Christ. These aren't yeah. our words. These are Dallas Jenkins' words. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately. Again, I would pray that he comes to know that that is not the case and that he would repent of that. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I, we genuinely, desperately hope that because this is an eternal issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This isn't like he said something I don't like, so he's my enemy. Yeah. No, he said something that goes strictly against the word of God. Exactly. And it's <laughs> and it's it saddens our hearts. Yeah. Okay. And it also saddens our hearts because it's leading mormons into a false assurance of salvation yeah in second timothy 3 16 the bible tells us that the bible scripture is god breathed Mm -hmm. it is given to us by god's very breath it is breathed out by god for correction for rebuke and for training in righteousness yeah so we must use scripture as the foundation for our calling out of sin Mm -hmm. or when someone's in error let's get back to the video here yeah (laughs) here we go it's big a little symbol on there apple with a bite out of it that was my first uh my first sin just kind of again we're stopping (laughs) but but and we're stopping this video so much because there's so many things that are just taken so lightly here yeah. and even said wrong. Yeah, exactly. Clever, but the bite out of the fruit in the Garden of Eden was not Satan's first sin. No. It was his first temptation. Well, not even his first temptation, technically. So uh, yeah. his first sin would be pride because yeah. he wanted to be God. Exactly. Um and I guess and his first temptation would be he took a third of the angels exactly, with him. So exactly. So is, think about this. Yeah. Satan's first sin is pride, gets in, and then ends up getting a third of the angels in heaven to believe that he should be God over God. Mm-hmm. And so essentially the same thing he does to, to Eden. I yeah, mean, um, to, Eve. To, to Eve. Yeah. Essentially the first thing he does to Eve is to tempt her to believe that she can have all the knowledge in the world and God is just Be holding like her back. So no, this is not the first sin. And are we being over analytical here? No, I actually, actually, <laughs> no, I don't think we are because again, the theological implications of this are to take Satan lightly. Yeah. If you need the chosen to make Jesus feel real, then this ad campaign about Satan will make Satan feel less like less of a threat. Yeah. More relatable and funny dumb-witted maybe yeah um not like the (laughs) the, not like the the satan of the bible yeah not like the enemy who wants to devour according to scripture devour us exactly so So, uh, again we have a whole video going over that check that video out it'll be in the description but it'll also i'll have it linked in this video you can go check that out but satan is the father of lies so maybe this was all just lies because Maybe that's the whole point is that he's saying little lies here. Yeah. Because the Bible tells us, remember, Satan is the father of lies. All right, let's get back. Crank these out until the end of the world. Seven more years. Don't tell him I told you. Um, yeah, this thing is powered by the, the sins of men in their 20s. Who am I kidding? All men. This thing never loses a charge, so don't even worry about uh, the cable. There's no port for earphones. My invention. Yeah content that was from the creators of the The chosen Chosen. yay a (laughs) a show about jesus do 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 we do you get it yet that they're mocking you now do you get it that they are mocking christians now and there's a few things here where in our in, in, in our last video where we talk about the mormon connection and dallas jenkins a lot of people came to the to the defense of the chosen show 
because one, they really connect with the show. It makes Jesus feel real to them in a way that nothing ever has. Yeah. First of all, the, uh, you're that is antithetical to the Bible because we should only need the Bible to make Jesus feel real. Yeah. Okay. And some people compare this to the Screw Tape Letters. Yep. Yeah, so I've read The Screw Tape Letters. It's a fantastic book by C.S. Yeah. Lewis. Also satire. It deals with spiritual warfare. So I could get how people would maybe straight away try to compare it. But I think the purposes and the way uh, what The Chosen is doing and versus what C.S. Lewis did in his book are completely different tactics and forms. So C.S. Lewis wrote something that's supposed to be comic like comedy but at the same time have very real um deep like theological truths in it Mm -hmm. as well so it wasn't making a mockery of satan or trying to make satan look lighthearted. no in fact it was trying to do the opposite it was trying to warn you of how subtle and how dangerous Satan yeah. and, and the tactics of Satan really just, are. Yeah, just give like possible examples and create this narrative story about how spiritual warfare can work. And it's it's an entertaining book to read. But it also, like when I read it, I was thinking like, oh, like I never thought of that. Like that's so true how the enemy yeah. can work in that way. So um, great book. This, I don't understand how you compared this to that. Mm-mm. This is just making a mockery of Satan. And I feel like this, more than anything, dulls the senses and dulls what we know from Scripture, uh, who our enemy actually is and how seriously we're supposed to take spiritual warfare. Exactly. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and again, uh, the argument being made is that the, the chosen has made Jesus feel real to a lot of people. So the people that are keeping up with the chosen and this chosen is not good, they're going to see Satan in a light of lightheartedness, mm-hmm. of almost almost dumb to a certain degree. Yeah. Because again, if you need the chosen to make Jesus feel real to you, then how much is this ad campaign ad campaign gonna make Satan feel real to mm-hmm. you? Yeah. And, and it's it's gonna make Satan seem like a lesser threat than what he really is. I don't know. This just seems extremely foolhardy. I think, too, with this ad campaign, they wanted to reach uh, Gen Z and and people that wouldn't normally watch The Chosen. However, at least f- from me looking at it, if I were to be into this type of content, like I, I could see how it could be entertaining and it can be funny. Yeah. But... Once you think that's funny, like why would you take Jesus seriously when Satan's being portrayed like this? Like, yeah, exactly. I don't understand how you go from that. Yep. Uh, and and then we've also had people say that they've come out and apologized for this whole ad campaign. Yeah, they actually no, did not. No, they have not. They apologized somewhat for the billboard campaigns because people thought that the billboards were actually vandalized so they were like oh no sorry it's a part of our ad campaign that we're doing they are very happy with their ad campaign they're not sorry for using satan as the spokesperson in in doing these videos they're continuing to do them and up until (laughs) this exact uh, this very second the chosen is very proud of the chosen is not good ad campaign yeah very proud of it they love it yes so don't be mistaken here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, this is just extreme. This had nothing to do with representing Jesus or the chosen show mm-hmm. at all. N- this is its own living and breathing thing now. Yeah. That now the chosen is not good is living and sustaining itself. Mm-hmm. Now it is just a mockery of Satan. And you think, oh, well, making a mockery of Satan, that's a good thing. He's, a ba- he's the bad guy. You know, he should be made a mockery of. This is way more serious than making Satan look like a dim-witted, light-hearted... Satan is not dumb, mm-hmm. okay? He is a master at what he does. And what he does is devour people and lead people astray and lie, kill, destroy. This is what Satan does. Yeah. And again, we go over all this in our other in our past videos. Go check them out on our channel. This just this is just this is extremely foolish from the beginning, but it's becoming more and more. I think 
dangerous at this point. Yeah. When Satan is your mascot, you're, you're, there's something off mm -hmm. with you. If you haven't seen our other videos on this whole ad campaign and The Chosen, please go check those out. And uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, whether you agree with us or don't agree. We like hearing from you. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. make sure, again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. We would love for you to be part of this community with us. We put out videos almost every single day. Yeah. So join us as well as hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. It would really help us out and we'd really appreciate that. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.